In this presentation, we will try to understand why variables are treated as labels in Python. So, without any further delay, let's get started. We will consider the following topics in this presentation. The first topic is variables in C. We will understand what are variables in C. Then we will move on to objects in Python. And then we will move on to variables in Python. Finally, we'll move on to summary of this presentation. So, let's first start with variables in C. What is a variable in C programming language? In C programming language, a variable is a memory location where we can store some value. We can create a variable in C using the following syntax. We first need to specify the data type of the variable. Then we need to add a space. Then the name of the variable. Then we can use assignment operator to assign some value to it. So a variable is created in this way. For example, we can write int x equal to 10. This means we are instructing computer to create variable x of type integer and assign value 10 to it. Internally what happens is that some memory is allocated to variable x. Now that memory is enough to store an integer value in it because we have already specified the type of this variable. Type of this variable is integer. Hence memory enough to store an integer is allocated to variable x. Then with the help of assignment operator, value 10 is assigned to variable x. So first memory is allocated and then value 10 is stored in that memory. In this way, variable is created in C programming language. If we write the statement int y equal to x, then first memory for variable y is created. And that memory is enough to store an integer value because the type of this variable is int. And equal to x means whatever is there inside x must be stored inside y. We know that variable x consists of value 10. So y must also hold value 10. This means a new copy is created, right? Because variable y is of type integer, memory enough to store an integer value is allocated to y. And then, with the help of this assignment operator, value of x is assigned to y. x consists of value 10, hence 10 is assigned to y. So, in a nutshell, a variable is the name of some memory location. It is name given to memory location. So, in this way, we can refer a specific memory location by its name. Now we know what a variable in C looks like. Let's move on to objects in Python. Before understanding variables in Python in depth, we need to understand what are objects in Python. So let's now understand what are objects in Python. Every data item is object in Python. Whatever the data item you pick, a data item in Python is no more than an object. An object is an entity that contains data along with properties and behavior. There is a subtle difference between an object and a value, a data. A data is simply a data. Let's say value 10. Value 10 is a value, but an object not only contains data, but it contains the properties and behavior of that data as well. So you can think of it as a package which consists of data along with the properties and behavior of that data. Also, an object refers to a specific blueprint called class. A class is a blueprint which every object of that class needs to follow. It's just a blueprint, a structure given to object. For example, we can create a person class, a generic class, which has properties like name, age, gender, and behavior like walking, eating, sleeping. So this is the class. This represents a class as it is just a blueprint, not the exact values. But if we create 
an atom object of this class then we need to assign values to these properties like atom 24 male so name of the object is atom age is 24 and gender is male so an object is an instance of a class so object consists of real values now we know the difference between an object and a class also we know what an object is object not only consists of value but it also contains the properties and behavior associated with that value a class is just a blueprint which every object of that class needs to follow in this example adam is the name of a person hence this object needs to follow this generic class person which has properties name age gender along with these behaviors walking eating and sleeping i hope this idea is clear so an object is just an entity which consists of the actual data along with properties and behavior we will understand objects in greater detail later but for now it is enough to get this much amount of knowledge to understand the concept of variables in python let's now move on to variables in python so what is a variable in python a variable is simply a label given to an object in python so it is different from c programming language variable in c programming language variable itself is a memory location but it is not the case in python in python a variable is simply a label nothing more nothing less it is just a label given to some object in python the syntax of a variable looks like the following we need to write the name of the variable first then with the help of assignment operator we can give this label to a specific object now you can notice this here i have not written value i have written object in place because every data item in python is an object variable name in python is just a label given to some object for example when we write x equal to 10 internally python allocates memory for this object that is python allocates memory for integer object 10 so memory for 10 is created first and then label x is assigned to this object so this concept is completely different from what we have seen in c programming language in c programming language variable itself is a memory location but in python variable is no more than a label given to an object it does not have any type information it does not possess any meaning on its own variable is just a label given to an object that's it as we have understood that variable is just a label given to an object so if we write this statement y equal to x then it is not the case that new memory for y is created no because variable itself does not have any meaning in python variable is just a label in python memory is allocated for an object not for a variable variable is just a label in python we know that x is pointing to this object x is a label given to this object y equal to x means that now y must also point to this object previously x was pointing to this object now y must also point to this object this is the meaning of the statement y equal to x so no new memory is allocated for y instead y is just another label given to this object that is why i told you that variables behave differently in python the conclusion is that a variable is a label given to some object so now we know what a variable in python is let's move on to the summary of this presentation in a nutshell we can say that in c a variable itself is a memory location variable is a memory location 
it has meaning it has type in python a variable is just a label attached to some object now you know the reason why there is no type given to a variable why there is no need to declare a variable before using it because variable is just a label real information is there inside an object so memory is allocated for an object in python and variable is just a name given to that object that's it so now we know the exact concept we are done with all these topics we have understood what is variable in c then we have understood what are objects in python we got the idea of what a variable in python looks like and we have seen the entire summary of this presentation as well okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation